And once again, I found some new items that I'm very excited to share with you. And um, not only are these um, new, but I want to show you what you can do with these products as well in terms of like DIY and crafting um, decor in your home. So these are items um, that you should find in your Dollar Trees because they are coming out of the Dollar Tree warehouse. Um, so um, there's kind of a theme here. I don't know. I've got some really bold colors today. I feel like they're kind of like summer colors because um, the past videos have had a lot of like pastels, you know, for spring. But these uh, colors are, you know, stronger, they're bolder, they're brighter. And I am excited to share these with you. Um, also, um, I want to tell you a funny little story about an encounter I had with a gentleman at um, the Dollar Tree when I went a few days ago. It's super funny, I think it's cute, and I will share that with you, but first, let's dive into the haul. Okay, so um, as I mentioned in my prior video, I um, have a couple of birthdays coming up this month in the month of April, and so I've been picking up like, you know, birthday bags and birthday boxes, and um, I came across this cute, box right here and look how beautiful this is i think this is gorgeous so and what i like about it is that the colors are not what is stereotypically considered feminine so you know we have a lot of pink and all that you know this i feel um you know is a little bit more masculine i happen to like the color blue and green and these are the kind of colors that i like but I think this would work really well for gifts that you're gonna be giving to men. So look at the beautiful uh, cupcake here. Um, there is some glitter, but not too much. The only area that has glitter on it is where this cupcake is right here. And then it says um, Yippee, which I think is adorable. You have that little pendant there. Now this is a pop-up, it's another layer. So this is another layer. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but I love the vibrant yellow, you know, the vertical striping here. It says yay on the side. And I love how it says happy birthday in the alternating colors of blue, yellow, green, and black. I think this is a gorgeous box. And there's just so many items that you can put in here, um, you know, for the guy in your life. And you know they, you know they didn't skimp on any of the details because what they did here was they lined the box in this really pretty blue, and I just I don't know I just think the box is super cute. So what I plan to do with this is I'm thinking of a couple options here. There's a couple of things that you can do. I'm I'm gonna look up some gift sets from Pinterest for you know for men um, of what you could possibly put in here. Cause I'm, you know, when I'm on the spot, I can't come up with any ideas, but you know, what comes to mind, uh, which is, you know, maybe typical, but things that guys are going to like are, um, you know, wallets, uh, cologne, gift cards, uh, a watch, a very nice watch could go in here. Um, but you know, you have to tailor it to the person that you know and what their likes are so you know something that i would put in here you know again you know be a really nice wallet you know um a lot of gift cards to different places that person may like you know they could be to different restaurants different stores um and again i'm sure there's like a thousand ideas i'll look up some and i'll put them up here for you guys to check out but if you're looking for gift boxes they have so so many they're very well made um, and I think the dollar twenty-five price point is perfection. Um, I don't feel that you're going to get these any cheaper anywhere else, and they're just so beautiful, and they don't have the look of being cheap. Okay, so let's stay in line with birthdays here, and other items that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So I came across this beautiful, vibrant bag. So they have, you know, all different types of 
you know, themes and, you know, art styles. Um, but I liked this one because this one is what, what I would call gender neutral and it is your typical primary colors, vibrant birthday bag. And, you know, if you're trying to stay, you know, neutral where it's not female, it's not male, it's neutral. I think this would make a really pretty bag. Um, you've got cakes here. It's a surprise. I just love that there's some metallic on here. Um, in terms of glitter, there's none. Um, it has a, almost like a cork um you know like a cork board kind of background on the texture let's see if that shows up on camera and i feel like that's a really unique look and then you have this gold almost like a champagne kind of color um you know ribbon the little handles really pretty and i just thought it was super pretty and so that's what i picked it up so i picked this stuff up for my son's birthday um so I'm going to be putting some items in there. So if you're looking for, you know, obviously gift bags, I still am very confident in saying that Dollar Tree is going to be your best bet in terms of buying gift bags because I, you know, you could venture out to like place like Target, Walmart, your local grocery store, and I have not found them less expensive than a dollar twenty-five. Beautiful, different art styles, all different occasions, a huge array of bags to choose from at a great price point something else there that it's a price that you cannot beat because i have picked this stuff up at walmart a dollar 25 to get 24 tissue papers um and varying colors look at all the different colors that you're getting and not only can you use these for gift giving, but there are a lot of crafts that you can do using tissue paper. Now I have used this because we did like a Cinco de Mayo inspired, um, what was it like a party um, at one of the uh, one of the assets that we were setting up. Or anyway, uh, we were doing a um, a grand opening to one of these um, real estate assets and we set up a Cinco de Mayo party because it just happened to be around that time of the year and we made really cool flowers using tissue paper. So I'm gonna put some pictures up on the, uh, the screen here so you guys can see what you can do with tissue paper. Another thing is you can use it to decorate, you know, mason jars or vases and create a really unique look where when you add candles or, um, you know, votives, faux candles with flickering lights for different occasions. On uh, In this situation, I'm showing you one that's 4th of July, and this is using tissue paper. So all different kind of crafts um, outside of just using it for, you know, putting in gift bags or gift boxes. Um, so something to be on the lookout for. If you guys um, are gonna be having, you know, your grandkids over for the summer, or your kids are gonna be home, and you're looking for something to do, this is a very inexpensive way to do, you know, crafts with them. Um, you're getting 24 sheets and at $1.25, I think that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so another item that I picked up now, talking about kids, I found these super cute, it's called Turbo Wheels, comes with nine pieces and it's um, like a little auto service station. So check this out right here. So it looks like basically, like where you would maybe go get your oil change, you know, your brakes checked, um, something, you know, to go, it says here on the oils, tires, brakes, exhaust, and I just think it's so cute. So for those of you who have children that like to play with um, those miniature cars, you know, Hot Wheels, what's the other brand? Matchbox cars. Um, not only can you pick up those cars at Dollar Tree, but then you can pick up these where, you know, you can play pretend that the car's going to get service. So I came in this variety right here. And the cool thing about it is that you have to build it. So it's kind of almost like Legos. And um, so we have auto services, car repair, car wash station. So let me show this up close. So these are the three different ones to collect. And I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that my sons would have been totally obsessed with this kind of stuff when they were young. Um, and to this day, they're obsessed with cars. And so I guess it just like transitioned from childhood into adulthood, but now they're playing with real cars and they're totally car guys. And so I'm, I'm guessing this is where it started. Okay, so I also got the car repair one. Oh my, I wish I found the car wash one. I may have to go back, guys. 
Um, so here's where you're, it's showing you how to assemble it. And look at the car wash station. Is that showing up? Is it focusing? How cute is this? I'm gonna have to go back, okay. And um, it doesn't come with the Hot Wheels or the little miniature car, so that's something you're gonna have to pick up. But again, three to collect from, and I just think they're super cute. And you know, it's not only something that you have to build, but also, you know, you get to play with the cars and you get to play pretend, which is what kids absolutely need to do. Okay, so now we're talking about like Legos and building. I came across this. Now I'm not sure if this is or is not new. That's Charlie in the background. Uh, I guess he's stirring about. But I found this little storage box uh, for Legos. So this is called Make It Blocks, Blocks Storage Case. And it is compatible to um, leading brands, meaning Lego, because they're not matching in it. This is for ages four and up. And it does not include the construction block. So you're not getting the Legos. They sell those at the Dollar Tree and obviously you may already have Legos. Now the box came with um, blue at the, as the uh, box base and red as a lid or reverse. We're getting the opposite color uh, setup. Now this is coming out of the Greenbrier um, warehouse as are those little car sets. Um, so you should be able to find these in your store if you're still picking up last minute um, items for Easter baskets, this would be something to pick up or you like to stock up for toys for tots or if you have upcoming birthdays, um, this is something definitely to pick up. Or maybe your grandkids come to visit and maybe you have a toad or a basket where you, you know, collect stuff, you compile stuff to have for them to do if they're spending summers with you or weekends with you or whatever. Um, what I like about it, it is small, okay? So it's not a big box. Here's my hand for reference. But this is great for travel. So, you know, obviously it's not gonna store all your Legos if your child has a large Lego collection, but if you're traveling, you know, maybe you're gonna go on a road trip, maybe you're gonna be in a hotel, maybe you're gonna be, a, you know, in a doctor's office, your child's accompanying you, somewhere where they're gonna have to be seated and well-behaved and entertained for a, a period of time. They can put just enough Legos to tote along with them, and then you put them back in here, and you lock them back up, and the Legos can attach to the lid. So I thought that was something super cute, and it was something that I had to pick up. Okay. Now let's talk about glitter. Um, and oh, did I find so much glitter in different shades that you can use for so many different crafts. So I'm gonna put some of these crafts up here on the screen. I found stuff where, you know, you're decorating mason jars, you know, um, the uh, storage uh, containers that you use in your office, you can bedazzle them. You can bedazzle, uh, light fixtures, um, the switch plate covers, the outlet covers, you know, um, you can do it to, you know, jars, to um, uh, votive holders. Uh, you can do it to your nails, your fingernails. You can also, um, what would be another thing you could style with it? And I'm gonna put images of these because I was looking for stuff to do with glitter outside of the norm. Um, Another thing that I came across was, you know, decorating um, uh, clothespins um, and using them to hang pictures on a, a cork board, a bulletin board, or even your refrigerator. You can attach magnets and then you can hang your kids pictures or, you know, pictures of a trip that you may have had. There's photos up here as well. Um, you can also use them to paint. Um, you know, you uh, do adhesive glue add glitter to keys. And so you can um, uh, differentiate between the keys. Okay, this is a house key. This one's to the garage, this one's to the storage, whatever. And so you paint them in different colors and it'll help you to distinguish the keys. So those are just a few ideas. I'll put images up here for you guys. So let's, I've talked about the glitter, but I haven't shown it to you. So I found this one here, Crafter Square section, and look how many colors you're getting you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. I've also seen where people decorate um, old um, empty bottles of liquor. So um, if you're into this trend, I'm just letting you know that it's out there and that you can decorate it and glam them up. I'll put an image up here as a reference and all of these are courtesy of Pinterest. So I found it in this color. 
I found it in this color. Um, so you've got these hues of blues and greens. And I also found it in a third one, which almost has like fall like vibes or like oranges and browns. I'll put that picture up there as well. If that's something that you're interested in. I, what I like to do is I like to get clear nail polish, which is a base coat, top coat. This is by LA Colors. Um, I'm gonna show you how it comes in the original package. I'll put it on the screen. And what I'll do is um, I'll paint one of the nails and um, like put a coat, a top coat of this or a base coat rather. And then while it's still, you know, wet, I'll, you know, sprinkle it with glitter. And then I'll put a top coat or a couple of layers of a top coat and you create a really pretty look. And it has a more um, glittery look than you would get with using nail polish that already has glitter in it. So you're just making it all the more bedazzled. And that's something you could do to your toenails. That's something you can do to your fingernails. Um, in Spanish, it's known as the uña chiflada or the, the spoiled nail. It's that one little bedazzled nail that you do, um, or you can do it to all your nails. But yeah, you want you want to pick up one of these because what you want to do is put a base coat, spring, while it's still wet, sprinkle the, um, the glitter on there, and then put about two coats of a top coat and that'll keep it in place. It's really a really cute look and it's very easy to do. Okay, so that's something to be on the hunt for. And as well, you know, for those of you who like to do um, crafts, Okay, so another item that I found um, were these horseshoe games and it says Play Glow. This is also coming out of Dollar Tree's warehouse. Now this is also an item that they put out every summer or for the last couple of years, as far back as I can remember, um, I've seen these. But I was thinking how fun would it be to, you know, go out at night you know maybe you're going to be doing a barbecue you're going to have friends family over you want to spend more time with your family do family related activities or maybe you want to do this with adults and you know um, make it part of a drinking game or something this would be super fun a dollar 25 gets you um let's see you're getting does it tell us i think it's two horseshoes and one little steak and so you may have to pick up multiples, but at $1.25, it's super affordable. So you'll buy a few of these, you'll stake them out in your front yard, your backyard. Um, you wait till it becomes nighttime and y'all can have the best time. You know, you can make it a challenge, form teams. And can you imagine the fun that you would have um, outside, you know, a really pretty summer day when the, you know, it's kind of breezy. You guys are out there with your friends, your family, your kiddos. I think it makes for a good time. And at $1.25 uh, for the set, I think that's a very good deal. Okay, now let's talk about um, new storage that they're coming out with. So I came across these jewel tone baskets. And if you're like me and you're obsessed with baskets and you keep buying them, you don't even have another place to put a basket. And yet, you keep buying them this is this is my you know dilemma here so i always every time they come up with new colors i always pick them up so there's different things that you can do with these do you know someone who works you know in a daycare in a classroom um do you have your own craft room at home um you work in an office you're trying to organize your pantry you don't always have to use white containers or clear containers you can use um colors why not who says that you can't um, I always pick, the, pick these up also because I like to do giveaways and I like to build gift sets. And these are perfect to serve as a base of where I'm gonna put my little products. And what I'll do is I'll find some images of some gift sets using these type of baskets. I'll put these on here, you know, in case you're looking for inspiration. So I found it in three different colors. The third color was like a magenta, like a hot pink, but it was definitely real deep, beautiful colors. And I love the basket weave design on here. Look how pretty those are. So I picked up those two and what I plan to do is um, to use them for um, future giveaways. But again, toddlers rooms, kids rooms, you can organize, you know, the, the Legos can go in one of them, maybe bar Barbie accessories, you know, her little shoes, her clothes, you can put it in another one, crayons, um, markers, there's 
a thousand and one things that you can do with these. So if you've not picked them up, now would be the time because they're super cute and the variety of colors um, it just keeps going and going and going and they're always being updated. Okay, another item that I picked up was this. So this is by Juncture and it's basically like, what would you call it? A um, wristlet, there you go, it's a wristlet. So it has a little area, you can put it around your wrist and it has two pockets. So you have this smaller one here, okay? And then you, and it's kind of like a faux leather or what I would call pleather, um, you know? came in uh, three different designs, if I remember correctly. One of them being like a leopard print or a cheetah print. The second one being a red buffalo checkered print. And then I found this one. So I thought this one was kind of fun. And I needed like another wristlet. I am not your stereotypical girl. I do not um, like carrying a purse like at all. I, it, I, I don't like purses. I also don't like shopping in the mall. So um, I would rather like order stuff online and have it just brought to me. Um, so those are kind of things that I don't, you know, I don't like doing. I don't like going to the mall to, you know, spend hours going through stores. I'm kind of like on a mission. I know what I want. Um, I make a beeline for the store. You know, I kind of come with, um, you know, like an action plan. So I try to avoid the mall at all costs. Um, so if you're like me and maybe you're not into a purse and you want to, you know, travel light or maybe you know you go out um, to different places and all you need maybe is a lip gloss and maybe your ID, a debit card, that's all you need to carry. Um, those are perfect for that exact purpose. Okay, so let me turn you on to this product. No, this is not new. This is something they carry all the time, but maybe, just maybe, you are not aware, as I was unaware of all the magical things that you can do with food coloring oh my goodness so here you're getting it says assorted food color and egg dye obviously to dye eggs we have easter right around the quarter you're getting red blue green and yellow and you can cross cross some of these colors to create new colors so red and blue make purple yellow and green make another color um you know if you know how to mix those colors you can create so many new things Okay, did you know that you can do temporary hair dye um, using food coloring? Did you know that? I didn't know that. And I've got an image up here for you. And that image was created, that hairstyle was created using food dye. So there are instructions on not only YouTube, um, Google, but on Pinterest. So these ideas are coming from print, Pinterest. That's where I pull them from. And so I'm sharing them with you. Have you decided, you know, maybe you want to, you know, you have small kids or maybe you don't have small kids and you just want to make lunch all the more exciting or maybe dinner more exciting. The, the variety of things that you can do with food dye to make food so much cooler. Check out these waffles. I, it would have never occurred to me to do this. Check out that drink. Look how cool this drink looks using food dye. Now there's also one with hot cocoa using white chocolate. They turned the white chocolate pink by adding food dye. So it is still white chocolate. It's a hot cocoa drink, but now it's the color pink. And there's just so many things that you can do. You can also tie dye shirts with food coloring. I did not know this. So in the same method that you would use to tie dye clothes, um, you know, rubber bands, you need like a light colored shirt, a white shirt, um, and some, some kind of dye. And in this case, it would be food dye. You can use food dye for that. So be on the hunt for this product, y'all. If you have, you know, passed it up, maybe not given it a, a moment's notice, here are the items that you can do with that. And I've put those images up there for you. I didn't know they existed, but I got on Pinterest. I'm like, show me what I can do with this. Um, and so I wanted to share those with you. So these are not my ideas. These are other people's ideas that are super more creative than myself. And I wanted you to get hip to what you can do with that kind of stuff, because I didn't know. And I'm planning to put some of these plans into action. Okay, another item that I picked up. Now this is Jot. For those of you who love journaling, and you like pretty scents. Now, this probably smells like onions to me. Um, if I haven't mentioned it, oh, I don't know, like a dozen times, maybe you're new here. I got COVID last year in September. I lost my sense of smell and taste for a very extended period of time. And when it finally came back, 
a lot of stuff smells like onions to me. Shampoo, mouthwash, um, toothpaste, uh, laundry detergent, hairspray, um, some foods. And if it has onion in it, the onion flavor dominates. Now, I have looked this up and it's a weird side effect and other people have it too. So these may smell good. I cannot test them out for you guys. I wish that I could. Um, and I plan also to include them in a giveaway, so I'm not gonna open it up. It says they are scented gel pens, and it comes with strawberry, blueberry, and grape scent. Three piece. Y'all that love to journal. Y'all that are college students. Y'all that do, um, I don't know, you write in a diary, you're crafty, you do all kinds of stuff. I'm sure you can come up with a thousand things more than what I could come up with. But I thought these were super cute. And it, there's people that like collecting pens. So uh, be on the lookout for these. Um, and again, they're by Jot, so that's an in-store Dollar Tree band. So you, still, you should, in theory, be able to find them in your store. Okay, no Dollar Tree haul of mine is complete unless I show, um, you know, stationery, journals, notebooks. This is a favorite of mine. And I came across this one. Look how metallic, iridescent, beautiful, vibrant, vibrant colors. And it says, let your light so shine. You're getting 52 sheets, um, notepad, 3.75 inches by eight inches. So it's a pretty good size. And it has like a little sleeve little thing here. So you can slip it into like maybe a binder or a folder. And can you imagine putting this as part of a really pretty gift set inside of one of those really cute gift baskets? I think this would be gorgeous. Um, and so just definitely something to pick up. Again, you know, men, women who host Bible study groups, these are things that, you know, you have what is um, scriptures or, you know, kind of leaning toward quotes uh, from the Bible scriptures. And so this would be such a beautiful gift if you're doing like maybe um, summer school uh, for teenagers or tweens, also a women's Bible study, a men's Bible study, they have all different kind of patterns. So if you're not liking this whole one, there's so many different options. You There is still time also to stick this in a um, an Easter basket, you know, for tweens, teens and adults. Okay, and I picked up this, this is a repeat buy. I have tried this product by Wet n Wild, and it's basically a full um, healthy lashes, soy protein enriched with panthenol, uh, clean definition, and it's very black is the name of the color. So this is a repeat buy, I've used it before, it doesn't clump, I like it, it works, it doesn't flake, um, which is something also that I look for when I'm using um, you know, like mascaras. Okay, and I think this is my last item, and then I'm gonna tell you a cute little story. So I found this. How cute is this? Um, it's Paint Trim Cup by Tool Bench. What I like about it is it has this handle, and, um, and then it has like a little pouring uh, spout area here. So if you're gonna be doing some painting in your house, you know, maybe you're painting an accent wall, maybe you're painting trim. We do touch up painting from time to time. I was staining a fence and um, this would be great to hang, like hang on the fence. Um, I wish I'd had it at that time because what we were doing was, you know, everyone, I had two people working on it, um, plus myself. And what we did was each separated paint and you know, we're each painting a section of the fence or staining it. And oh my God, would this have come in handy. So um, now let's talk about the funny story. Um, it, this is something to be on the lookout for, for you guys who are gonna be doing some painting. Um, and I found it in the tool bench section. Okay, so my funny story is this. I'm gonna try to make it brief. Y'all know I can you know, go on and on and on. Okay, so I'm standing in line. I'm uh, checking out, I'm at the register and the cashier is ringing up my stuff. This guy um, comes up behind me and he's basically like, excuse me, miss, um, would you mind answering a question for me? Is there something you can help me out with? So I turn around and I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, I can try. And so he shows me in his basket and he has two items and he's asking me to pick one of the two because what he needs is a pitcher for juice. So um, 
what he has in his basket is not a pitcher for juice. He has a Betty Crocker mixing bowl and he also has a, I think they're called watering cans, okay? Like the thing you use to water flowers. So he says, which one of these two would you use um, for juice? And I was like, um, I don't know that I'd use either because it's kind of weird. I mean, yes, you could put juice in them and yes, they have like a little spout area where you could pour juice out of, but um, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, I said, but I am familiar with the store and aisle 10 is where the pictures are at because, or they'll have something like it because all the Tupperware, the plastic wear is there, storage containers, um, and all the glasses there. And I said, if you don't find it there, then you may find it um, the disposable kind in the party section where all the party accessories are at. He's like, well, I've been to both and neither one have a pitcher. And so the cashier says, hey, would you mind if I leave the um, aisle, you know, I leave and I stop, you know, the process, I'll come right back and finish checking you out. But I wanna show him where they're at because I'm pretty sure we have them. Um, it turns out they didn't have any, okay, so they're out. So he comes back in line and I told him, well, you probably need to go to like Walmart, you know, maybe you should go to Walmart. It's literally across the street and I'm pretty darn sure you're gonna find a picture there. But he's like, no, I, I don't really wanna to go to a bunch of stores, I'm already here, and I just gonna wanna make do. But to me, um, it was just like the cutest thing. Like, this is not making fun of him, I just found it to be so cute, because to me, it's such a guy thing to do. No hate on guys, you know, because some of the, the most brilliant people in the world, Albert Einstein, you know, Stephen Hawking, um, you know, all these engineers, uh, uh, scientists, uh, masters of industry have been men, women too, women too, don't get it twisted, women are up there as well, um, but, you know, it's not hating on men, it just felt like this is such a guy thing to do, and I just thought it was the cutest thing, and it didn't hurt, ladies, it didn't hurt that the guy was pretty hot, he, he was a really good looking guy, and um, dang it, uh, you know, missed opportunities. Um, but anyway, I thought he was, he's pretty cute. And I, I took advantage of when he left the, um, register to, with the cashier to go check and see if they could find a picture. And I took a picture of his basket. I'm going to post it up here for you guys to see. And I just thought it was a cute thing. And so I'm curious to see, have you ever had a situation with your son, your dad, your husband, a man, you know? And they have this kind of harebrained uh, idea. And you're kind of like, that's that's a guy thing to do. You know, it's such a guy thing to do. And I don't know, I thought it was cute. So I thought to share it with you. Okay, and the last item I want to talk about are Fiesta Ware style dishes. So Dollar Tree has put out like a whole collection of dishware um, in these vibrant, beautiful summer colors. If you are a fan of Fiesta Ware dishes, which if you've ever bought them before, they are very expensive. Now they are warranty for life. So I get it and they're very beautiful and they come in a vibrant array of colors. But you know, if you don't wanna spend the money on Fiesta Ware, Dollar Tree has the answer and it is this right here. So I'm gonna put the photo up here and so you're getting a couple of different color selections to choose from. And what I'll try to do is find some pictures online of what you can do with dishes of this color. If you want to do a really pretty place setting, especially for the summertime. And some of these can transition into other holidays as well. So I wanted to share these with you. I did not buy any because I have absolutely no space no space, not in the china cabinet, not in the kitchen cabinets. There's nowhere I could put not one more dish, not one more mug, even though I'm obsessed with this. This is something that I pick up on the regular. Um, but I had to literally go, bad china, no, no, don't buy that. You don't need it. And what are you gonna do with all these dishes? You have nowhere, nowhere to put it. So you have to do that with yourself sometimes. You know, you have to go self, you don't need that. You like it, you want it, but what in the hell are you gonna do with it? Where are you gonna put it? I mean, you know, they're pretty, but yeah, you can't do anything with it. So you give yourself a good smack on the hand and maybe a pinch, um, and then you do a reality check and you're like, no ma'am. 
and you march yourself right out of that store. So I didn't buy them, but I wanted to share them with you in case you are in need of dishes and you are a fan of Fiesta wear. Okay guys, so that wraps up today's haul. I did really good with the other one for me uh, yesterday because um, I kept it like at 19 minutes. This one's at 34 or 40. It's probably gonna be longer once I have the intro. So I'm gonna give this haul a wrap. I absolutely love you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your positive energy. Um, it is so motivating to me. If you're enjoying this content, you like the ideas I come up with, um, what I don't come up with, I borrow from Pinterest, some of them I come up with, and you're into crafting, you're into decor, you're into Dollar Tree, um, I think you, uh, I think we would make a nice, uh, pairing. So I hope you'll hit the like button because it totally helps me out in the algorithms. I hope you'll subscribe because that it helps build my channel and please comment down below because I love, love hearing from you guys. I read all your comments. Um, sometimes it takes me a few days, but I will read them and I will respond to them because, um, they matter to me. It matters to me that you took time out of your day to come and visit with me. And so ladies um, and gentlemen, if there's gentlemen out there, I bid you good day and I hope to catch you at the Dollar Tree. Until next time and keep an eye out. We've got some future giveaways coming up, including that Mickey Mouse one. So there's still time to enter. Today's the last day. All right, guys, bye.